Was Solo a Star Wars story good? The answer? Well, it's complicated. Hey everyone, I'm Bradley and welcome to Zlingle. I saw Solo a Star Wars Story opening night at the first showing, but it was the least excited I've been for a Star Wars movie, because the release of Force Awakens and The Last Jedi were probably the peak of human excitement for anticipation for a film. So it's not surprising it didn't get to that level, and it wasn't even all that business behind the scenes with the directors getting fired in the middle of shooting, it was solely for the fact that I didn't see the need for a Solo standalone film. I have a video about that if you want to check that out, link in the description. But was Solo a good movie? And not only that, but was it a good Star Wars movie? Well, I have a couple things to say about that. To me, it was a really fun, entertaining time at the theater. So yes, I would recommend it to pretty much anyone, even people who don't like Star Wars all that much. So on that level, I'd say it was a really good movie. Good acting, effects, incredible action scenes, and just a fun, adventurous vibe. But was it a good Star Wars movie? I'd say it was alright. It definitely had a lot of references to the past films, so you can't really separate it from the rest of the saga. But at the same time, it's very different in some ways. Like the tone is different, it didn't have the epic galactic feel, didn't have the hero's journey aspect as much. You don't feel like you're seeing this character go through changes and take on the world the same way you do with Luke, Rey, or even Anakin. Because you know how Han ends up. We know him as a full-grown Harrison Ford, so witnessing the exploits of a young Han Solo just feels like you're waiting for him to start becoming the Han you know, instead of the changes happening organically. That being said, Alden Ehrenreich did an amazing job. I was doubting him a bit before I saw it, but there are many moments that you genuinely see Han Solo, and not just an actor trying to beat him. For not being able to use Harrison, he was a perfect fit. So in conclusion, if you like Star Wars, if you don't like Star Wars, if you want to just have a good time, then go check out Solo. But if you are a Star Wars fan, don't expect it to change your life, or make you appreciate Star Wars more than you did before. Just see it as a spin-off movie that was made for the fun of it, and I think you'll appreciate it for the work and attention to detail that was put into it. Well everyone, thanks for watching, I always appreciate it. Take just a second to subscribe if you haven't, and until next time, Nuff said, and Excelsior. And, may the force be with you, always. Thank you.